Hello, friends. Welcome and welcome back to another touch-up episode of Get Ready with America. Today, we're talking about the results in Texas. We talked about them several weeks ago, so I'll link the video in the cards for a refresher. In the 6th Congressional District, Democrats are officially out of the running as two Republicans were the top vote-getters in the district. Susan Wright, widow to Congressman Ron Wright, and State Rep. Jake Elzey will go on to a runoff election on May 24th. It's already spicy, and prob's going to get spicier. Democrat Jana Sanchez missed a top two spot by less than 400 votes, but turnout of the Dems in the district was less than a quarter what it was in the November election, so there's obviously a long way to go to get them actively interested in voting outside of the fall. In Fort Worth, as assumed, Maddie Parker and Deborah Peoples are advancing to a runoff election on June 5th. Right now, Peoples is leading with 34% of the vote, and if elected, would become the city's first black mayor. In Austin, they voted overwhelmingly against changing the government structure, which keeps the mayor on roughly the same level as the council and maintains power with the city manager. When I say overwhelmingly, it was 85% of the vote, which was the highest winning margin of the seven ballot questions. They also voted to criminalize homelessness with the smallest margin, but highest number of votes cast. So that's cool, Austin. You're doing great. For a final update, I want to touch again on voter suppression bills, but not what you might think. House Bill 1987 has been amended to prohibit people serving as a county or precinct chair for their party to run for office. This shuts out candidates from third parties who often have to become chairs to get into nominating conventions. Just so we're all on the same page, limiting competition on the ballot is a form of voter suppression. Trust that we'll talk about that some more in the future. Many thanks to my friend Cece for bringing this to my attention. I'll see you again early next week with a part one about New Jersey and Virginia's gubernatorial primaries. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon linked in the description box if you'd like to support this work.